Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO3 3 plus Na3PO4. This is chromium 3 nitrate and we have sodium phosphate. The first thing we have to do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. And this here is the molecular equation. I can see that I have three sodiums and just one here. So I'm going to put a three as my coefficient. Sodiums, they're balanced. Now I have three nitrates, but I have three nitrates over here. So that's good. I have one chromium and then one phosphate on each side. So that's it. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. That looks like this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So they're going to be aqueous. And compounds with phosphate, in general, they're insoluble. But group 1 elements like sodium or potassium phosphate, they actually are soluble. So sodium phosphate is going to be soluble, but chromium phosphate, because chromium is not in group one, that's going to be a solid. That means it's a precipitate, falls to the bottom of the test tube as the precipitate in this reaction. Now that we have the states, let's split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So it looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And again, we didn't split the solid here apart into ions in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're the same on both sides. In the reactants here on the top, I can see there are three nitrate ions. In the products down here, three nitrate ions, spectator ions, cross them out. Three sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. These are spectator ions. We cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CrNO33 plus Na3PO4. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chromium-3 nitrate plus sodium phosphate. You note that charge is balanced. We have 3 plus here and 3 minus here. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, neutral, net charge of 0. Charge is the same, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CrNO33 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.